Uncrashed is one of the best games that's out there and this is why I think so. When starting up this game, the first thing you will notice is that it loads very fast. It's like 4 seconds and then you're in. And you can just click on a track and immediately you're in the simulator. So it's like less than a minute. This is the perfect game to just get in quick and start up the game without any loading time. It's also super simple to use with the remote controller. You just start up the controller, plug it into the computer, and after that you start the simulator and you're good to go. Setting up the remote is pretty straightforward. You just assign all the axes and do a stick calibration and you're good to go. You can also change the rates so that it matches what you are flying normally and on the drone settings you can change what kind of drone you want to fly. They have these four at the moment but if you want to build your own kind of drone you can make your own setup here. Further down on this list you can also change the physics of the game but to me the physics in this game is pretty much perfect. I would say the only game that could beat this kind of physics is Velocidrome. So I really like what they did here. It feels a lot like it does for me in real life. So that is amazing. Also, I really like the graphics of this game. So this is built upon Unreal Engine and the graphics is just amazing. It's a lot better than many of the simulators that I've played. So I really like the graphics. It really feels like you're in one of your favorite video games and you just flying around and enjoying the view and just exploring new areas. So I really like what they did with the graphics here. There's also a racing track on each level. So if you find these start signs, that means you have found a racing track and you can start a race. There's usually only one racing track per level, but on some of the newer levels, you can find new tracks. So that is pretty exciting. So keep your eyes open when you're freestyling on each level because there could be a hidden starting point somewhere. On some of the tracks there's also racing cars that you can try to follow and it's really nice to be able to practice on these kind of skills. And the simulation of these cars is perfect. It feels like I'm flying the camera inside of Need for Speed or something like that. It's really cool. One of the drawbacks is that there are not a huge amount of tracks. This is all of the tracks that's available right now. So hopefully they will add more tracks later on. But for now, this is all you got. And some of these tracks are really small, like this hangar in the mountains. This is the entire map. It's not really big. Other maps are like super big, like this one, where you can fly all around this island, everything you see. So it's a, a nice long range level to dive down mountains like this. Perfect. The biggest downside I think with this game is that there is no multiplayer. You cannot play online. So the only one you're going to compete against here is yourself. But for normal kind of freestyling, this game is pretty perfect. Sadly, there's no training mode on this game. So if you're new to FPV drones, you're going to be on your own. One annoying thing with the racing mode is that to see your personal record, you need to go through the start and then reset the drone. And there you can see the personal best that you've got. I don't know, there, I think there should be a simpler way to see your personal record. Like, I think in the menu you should be able to see already which one you got the gold star on and which you don't, so that you can improve your times. Another thing I think they should fix is that whenever you pr double press the reset button, you end up in the start and the race is over and you need to go all the way again. And that's annoying because sometimes you got a really good time and then you end up in a place where the drone doesn't fully reset and you try to click it multiple times and because of that the race is restarted and you need to go again. It's just frustrating. I would like to see that you reset the whole race on another button than double clicking the reset drone button. All in all, I think it's a great game and I really enjoy just flying around and exploring and trying out new stuff. So if you're thinking about buying Uncrashed, don't hesitate, it's a great game. It's my personal favorite and of them all, it's the one I play the most. But if you want to know more about this other simulator, check it out here. Thanks for watching and see you over there.